Would you ever sit in a driverless cab by Elon Musk? Here's what he's planning with robo-taxis, what everyone in the tech world is calling Tesla's iPhone moment. One of the biggest in a decade. Let me break it down for you. As the butterfly doors of the cyber cab opened, Elon Musk kicked it all off by waving to the crowd and sitting in Tesla's new robo-taxi, a fully autonomous self-driving cab that does not even have a steering wheel or pedals, emphasizing Tesla's trust on its technology. Tesla showed off the cyber cab demos on internal, non-public roads in Hollywood and Elon Musk focused on how people sitting in the robo-taxis can even sleep and don't have to stay vigilant while the car is moving. A stark difference really from Tesla's current self-driving capabilities which require drivers to stay alert at all times. Musk pitched the idea of autonomous cars as primarily a time saver as well as a money saver. Elon says these cyber taxis will reduce the cost of transportation from an average $1 per mile for a city bus to as low as 20 cents or 40 cents a mile using the cyber taxi. Now, obviously, this is more of a prototype, but it's interesting to see the design philosophy that Tesla adopts. Elon Musk seems to have very polarizing designs, be it what he did with the Tesla cars or also what he's done with the Cybertruck. Some people love it, some people just cannot stand it. But to have these sort of butterfly doors, more like sports cars, it's a very Ferrari, Lamborghini-esque inspiration in terms of design. What do you make of it? Do let us know on our social media handles. But coming to the tech in the car. The Tesla CEO also claims that the company will announce fully autonomous, unsupervised self-driving in Texas and California by as early as 2025 with the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y cars. Tesla's self-driving feature has been involved in controversies leading to a number of fatalities. But Musk is optimistic about the cyber cab and said that it will save a lot of lives and also prevent injuries. There was also a small surprise demo at the event, the Tesla Robovan, a van which is capable of carrying up to 20 people and bringing down the cost of transportation even further. No launch date or production timelines were mentioned. It's interesting that Elon changed the date for this Hollywood event which was supposed to have happened in August when we were actually there in California a couple of times and also reporting on Google's way more driverless cabs. I'll tell you about the differences there in a minute but most importantly this robo taxi event has been pushed to October 10th or had been pushed to sometime this week primarily to work on the prototype and some of the things we have seen this morning. But when you compare the Waymo to Tesla's robo-taxi, things are a bit different. The vision is different. Waymos are out there. They're getting approvals left, right and centre. For now, they're Jaguar I-Paces. There's news that the Hyundai Ioniq 5 will also be inducted into the fleet and a couple of other car makers are really going for it as well. Crews are no longer seen on roads because of some of the issues that they face, but Waymo's largely are a force to reckon with in San Francisco. You're seeing them in other cities across the United States. We had a fascinating experience in that Jaguar I-Pace with LiDAR sensors around. You see those clunky sensors all around it, but the job is done with maximum efficiency. Some of the San Francisco neighborhood residents aren't very happy with Waymo's. People often scratch them on their way out, uh, they're not very nice with technology or at least not being friends with it. But the ones who embrace it are benefiting from Waymo. Tesla's robo-taxi and Elon Musk's vision largely is to build a Tesla network. Not only with these cyber cabs or robo-taxis, but a network along with existing Teslas and the FSD or the full self-driving tech that they have. So you could actually, in an ideal Elon Musk world, be able to use your Tesla as a taxi on the service to chauffeur people around. Now it's fascinating to see what he's doing in terms of tech, but what do you make of it? Do let us know in the comment section or do write to us on our social media handles.